Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> like a star blues again. Did you check the levels? I mean, I haven't touched shit. No, the, all the levels are the same. You just gotta. Oh, all right. Perfect, perfect. You just I'm gotta hold the mic closer to your mouth, man. Closer to my mouth, like this. Yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> what up, yo? Well, we're over from Sober October. Over. Yeah, we're no longer doing that shit. I mean. I'm gonna lay off the weed a little bit, but as far as the alcohol goes, we're back on it. Actually, I started sub October, October 2nd, not October 1st, because there was that joint that just would, had my name on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, fuck. But I started it, finished it November 2nd at night. I drank, dude, I drank like six guinnesses <laughs> so you celebrated hard oh yeah <laughs> like all right, all right and then i remembered how bad the hangover could be <laughs> fucking Dude. guinnesses bro the, the, is that is that your um my go-to beer be, before um before sober october was that your go-to beer yeah it's guinness. always been my my mm. go-to beer because it doesn't have that many bubbles inside so it doesn't bolt me up as much really because i feel oh man Cause like I feel like it bulks me up because it's like milk, you know. It's like drinking a yeah, glass yeah, of milk. Yeah, yeah. Don't get uh, me wrong, I love me my Guinnesses, you know. Like those, they're freaking delicious. They are delicious. Um, even even last year, uh, last year, uh, uh, last night, um, after I finished my shift, um, we have three beers on tap. One is a Pilsner, one's an IPA, and one of them is a is a it's a type of stout. It's the Dunkel, mm -hmm. um, but. Both the IPA and the Pilsen were kicked, so so the only one that was left was the Dunkin' Donut. I'm like, I don't, I don't want this heavy shit right now. Why? <laughs> it's cold outside. It's really cold outside. Why wouldn't you want dark beer during cold month? <laughs> I, bro, did you just beat me, man? Yeah, I always wear right. short sleeves. It's just what, it's what, it's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking immigrants over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know, know how to function in your American climate, <laughs> bro. But I mean, you know, so yeah. Next day was a little bit rough. Next day was a little bit rough. But um, let's talk about the one that we're going to be opening. So we had promised to somebody, yes, um, to one of our listeners that will try the Yellowtail Cabernet. But somebody, I'm not going to point any elbows, fucked up and didn't get the Yellowtail Cabernet. Uh, Even though that same person, hey man. that same person when we were producing <laughs> the podcast, he was like, yo, we have to get it because Sunday's liquor stores do not open until 12. And we're recording at like uh, 10. So, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna try that. I um I I, I don't know if you guys know this. I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and I forgot. <laughs> listen, listen. We're gonna get your to do list. First of all, you have oh, to get on yeah. Apple. You, you need to stop with that fucking Google bullshit where they steal your data all the time. You need an Apple. And, and Apple doesn't steal your data. No, no, no. It's actually one of the best privacy companies. That's why mm. Apple Maps is a little bit funkier than google maps is because they won't share they won't use your data to do your their maps is android part of google is yeah. that are they owned by google yep mm. the whole system is owned by google so mm, I, I didn't know that anyway we have over here uh penfolds ben 28 shiraz from australia we tried to keep it true we were going to compare this shiraz to the or, yellow or is, is that what we were gonna do <laughs> let's just go the way. i feel guilty you know <laughs> see all right <laughs> We set expectations, you know. Oh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> also, we've been trying, uh, we've been thinking we will switch uh, the releases of new podcasts from Friday because, you know, we guys have offs. I don't know if you want to listen to us on a Friday to Sunday mornings. So, Sunday mornings, we will start releasing the new episodes. So, this episode, we're expecting to be released in next Sunday morning. Right, which is going to be right now is the seventh, so, so right seven now. days, so, so the fourteenth. Well, I still got to release the other one. We still got to finish the other one. Yeah, that's on me. See, so fucking guilty as fuck over here. So do you? So do you wanna? Um, We're gonna start today. I'm gonna watch it today, and then we'll push it. I don't think I'm gonna have any. Um, what is it called? So you've been a would great. You, would you like? Would you like? Would you like me to publish it tonight if yeah. if it's good to go? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Surprise! So it's, yeah. You have two episodes. Well, one episode. No, no, one episode. Tonight. No, if if I could do the one today, then uh, it could be a little tough to get it for next Sunday. All right, we'll talk. 
but yeah no but it's definitely going to be the sundays yeah so the sunday sundays. episodes and right. then we're still on two episodes per uh on episode per two weeks so yeah. keep that in mind yeah yeah we um I, i'm glad you brought that up because i do want to apologize because i one of the things that i've been trying to do um I, we've been trying to do is at least be consistent with our episodes and i know you know it's, it's been a little scattered um just because there's like a lot of personal life uh, you know there's a lot of behind the scenes type come shit on that we come on do. tell the truth we both work our asses off to keep our families fed and we cannot <laughs> do this full time yet because we don't have enough yeah, listeners yeah, yeah, right we're working also on the podcast constantly and uh, we probably will move in a slightly different directions with the liquor stores instead of what we wanted to do um but that is more to come you guys will see we'll start putting out there uh, short clips of the podcast yeah. for um items or for topics that we think are relevant and uh oh on that same token if you guys have any uh suggestions of uh any particular clips you like us to uh, post or if there are any topics you think that um we haven't touched upon uh let us know because you know the more uh, we're, we're more than happy to to uh to take any input you oh, know yeah. whether uh be positive is awesome negative is always the funniest so you know what i'm saying so just like <laughs> bring it. it on yeah fuck it hey, 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 oh you guys you guys are stupid you know like fucking say it you know yeah, what I, you yeah. know like it, this goes even to uh, uh some of our closest friends honesty is amazing and um Wait, one, th who, one thing that i like that closest friend of yours that is honest Oh, which is funny because that's literally what, <laughs> literally what I was about to say. Well, you, well, you're my best friend, so yeah. and you're brutally honest. Um, but I was gonna say like, but um, I do it just to hurt your feelings and see how you react. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's I you just want a reaction. <laughs> no, 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 no. All jokes aside, what I was what I was gonna say is that um, I try to I try to keep things as um, as vague as possible, especially when it's somebody that I personally know, just because I don't want anybody to. Um, with maybe a slight tangent but the whole thing about canceling people and shit um i like to let people cancel themselves on their own time um if i hear an opinion about something i will do my absolute best to keep it vague as possible i'm never i never want to say in anybody's names like yo this particular person did this which is why for a while um when we started the podcast i never said where i worked just because Oh, you, you work at this place, and now they support your ideals and shit. So, All whatever, the whatever people what, will say stupid shit like that because I, um, your opinion does not make you, you know, a you bad know, worker. You know what? You know when they say uh, uh, common sense is not that common. Well, stupidity is very common, and yeah. I'm oh, yeah. me being one of those idiots, <laughs> dude. Because you have you ever? Uh, uh, I guess we're in that. Uh, we're we're lucky enough to be in in that position where we're able to re-listen to our opinion to our own opinions, mm -hmm. and there's been times where I'm like, "Wow, I guess I wasn't listening in, at this particular point," or you know, "Let me let me rethink up, let me re rethink this through," you know, and oh yeah, like like we said before, that usually happens, and that's yeah. very good. Like changing your opinion, you know, when, back in the day, I I was very very like not okay with myself of what i used to call flip-flopping like i would change my opinion oh, based yeah, on you about this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And i was like uh, i really don't know this and that I'm like why can't i just stick to one idea and then i realized uh, later on in my life in my late 20s i realized wait a second it's actually very good to uh, go and revisit your ideas and your beliefs and constantly update them and see you know see if they're still if your way of thinking is still, um, what is it, not actual, relevant, mm -hmm. it's still relevant today. And that's like one of the best things that people will do. That's why I don't like party people. Oh, I'm a Democrat. Oh, I'm a Republican. Oh, oh. Da, da, da. <laughs> you said party like, people? I yeah. picture people with like party uh, no, hats no, no, in the party clubs. <laughs> like like party supporters, like staunch party supporters oh, yeah, are yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. bad. Oh, they're so annoying, they, man. They're not only annoying, like all of their views are very outdated be yeah. it with democrats be it with republicans they oh, it's like it's like those people that take the bible literally when when, mm. when the bible is honestly a full it's just metaphors of what oh, we should do oh, what we shouldn't bro. do <laughs> like oh that, that's um I, 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 I'm, I'm with you with the with the whole with the whole party people 
Um, but as far as as far as the Bible goes, at least in, in uh, from what I've seen, it's as much as a lot of believers like to say it's not. The Bible is entirely subjective. Um, because that's what a metaphor is. <laughs> it's uh, entirely no, subjective. No, you know, in the general sense, I I could I could see it being considered a metaphor. Like once you gather all the data, um, it's oh you could you should which so to summarize his opinion, their opinion, blah blah blah. It's it's a metaphor. But if you if you speak to the individual, they're all right. They're uh, let me rephrase that. They're all convinced that they interpret it the right way even when even, yeah. the, even even within their own denominations yeah no so that's what i'm saying so like it's not necessarily a metaphor to them so like, there's some people that take this shit literally but that's what i'm saying the, those even are the within same the same denominations though yeah correct and those are those are the same people like people who support party lines staunchly like that's that, that's what i was saying that it made no sense to me because oh Oh, if man. you look at and uh, you know like we've talked about it uh, i've been listening to jordan peterson lately and especially his um, lectures on the bible and they're very interesting you know the hierarchy remember back in the day when we thought that the great seal of the united states which is on the back of the dollar bill the the horus like the pyramid with the horus the the mm. all-seeing eye the right all seeing eye. Hey. Yeah, right here. <laughs> remember how we thought that it was a um it was a conspiracy theory, and then like the Masons are running shit, and then the lizard. People believe it's a conspiracy theory, yes. Yeah, and then you listen to Jordan Peterson explain it, and you're like, "Oh shit, that makes sense. It's not conspiracy theory; it's hierarchy." Oh man, but see, no, that's the thing. That's the thing about Jordan Peterson because um, I I listened to him like a, a lot of his like earlier stuff about you know uh, uh, taking responsibility. He reminded me a lot about Nietzsche, uh, which I which I appreciated, which uh, basically the whole thing about existentialism. And I just, thought Carl Jung because he re, he ref, no, refers he, to no, Carl Jung no, a lot more. He and I know and he refers to no no. What I was saying is that um, before I heard about Jordan Peterson, um, one of my favorite philosophers, if not my favorite philosopher, was Friedrich Nietzsche um, because of existentialism, which is basically um, puts responsibility right on your lap. You are responsible for who you are. I'm not saying you are responsible for your circumstances. You may be born. Um, in uh, in a rich family, you may be born in a poor in a poor family, etc., or a fam or a familyless uh, place. But to an extent, it is up to you, the individual, to uh, choose to um, to do. It's, it's up to you to what you dis what you choose to do with your circumstances. Yes, we could go into all those gray areas about like you have nobody to show you, you like on all of these extra things. What I'm saying is that one of the things that attracted to me about Jordan Peterson was that similarity between him and Nietzsche, and that you know you are responsible for your for your own life. Because I disagree with a lot of Jordan Peterson's shit. Um, one, if like if you like the Bible, I don't. I've told you about this before. You should listen to the debate he did with uh, Matt Dillahunty, which is who is a. Uh, Ex, uh, he was a Southern Baptist who was like starting to be a minister. Mm -hmm. um, and he and he did a, a did like a they did like a sit down, um, and I was personally excited to hear these these two converse. Okay, um, because I respected and admired both of them, and it was kind of funny because that was a very telling conversation for me because it almost felt like Peterson. The, it, it, it almost felt or and still does like his wiseness kind of got to his head and now everything he says is taking is been is taken as uh like the holiest of holy shits like the the, the things that he said like one of the, one of the things that he said about um oh man they were talking they were talking about like um Fuck! I, I'll, 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 I'll post a link for the for the conversation. But oh, Matt was making a point about you know uh, going through life and um, standing in the shoulders of giants. Um, in that you know the, our predecessors they set out this uh, this landscape, and now us coming up, and you know we learn mm -hmm. from those mistakes, and then you know from our predecessors' mistakes. You know he's like making this like but really good we? point, huh? Do we, okay, continue. Right, you know, well, well, yeah. If we do on a blanket, that's different. But 
the point is that there's um if we're able to learn from our from our uh, predecessors now mm -hmm. peterson made this comment was like yeah i agree with that but jesus is the all um is the is the is the giant of giants which had nothing to do with the point it of was it, it was just it was why? just huh why do you think it had nothing to do with the point because it had nothing to do with the point the point was simply that people have existed in the past uh -huh. um that we know have uh, that a hundred percent have existed you know um uh, that uh we have learned from mm -hmm. from uh experience from whether it be a scientist a philosopher whether it be a regular ass person um and learning from them you're able to you know progress and then Correct. he's saying jesus is the highest of highest like First of all, that's a freaking. We don't even know if this person existed. You're taking on, you're taking on, this entity see, from a story. See, that's, that, that's like saying Harry Potter is the highest of the highest. And he is. And like you have to. Are because, you telling me that? Hold on, hold on. Man. Because those are those are two those are two contradictions. Kind of How can Harry Potter and Jesus both be the highest of the highest? Because of you read the books, right? No, I don't have to read the books. Wait, how wait, wait, how wait. can two people be the top of the top of the top? Because they're ultimate representation of yourself. They're the ultimate best good in, door the, 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 in order for in order for there to be an ultimate there has to be one to say no 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 we, two different worlds it's like the same thing if you're saying that's like, what i'm saying so that's that's that's, that's a pointless that's a pointless no, point it's, it, it's not because if you think about it right if you really think about it mm. and that not think that jesus was existed or not think what jesus represents jesus represents the ultimate best you Versus the devil represents the worst you. I would never tell a slave to obey their master. Jesus did. According Dude, to the book. Sti still, okay, that's still not a, what do you mean a slave to obey their master? Jesus said when he was asked about slaves, he said, slaves obey your masters. I'll Dude, put the citation. Those were people, again, up for interpretation. When, when you say obey your master, what do you mean by that? Because your master could be your ideals, and why would you not obey your ideals? No, see now, 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 now you're looking into into it. What it, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I was but, saying before no, about you, you it can, being. That's what, I, that's what I was saying about it being subjective to everyone. Who, so if it's subjective, you have to analyze so it. You cannot it's, just so tell me. So if it's subjective to everyone, then that means it's not a reliable source of information. If, if, Dude, it's if, never if it could, been it a reliable mean, source. Could, Why are you arguing something that I'm agreeing with you? It's never been a reliable source of information. Then ever. I, I don't understand. I don't understand your point. Then my point is that humans have the capacity to do extraordinary evil. Extraordinary. I mean, shit is still happening. Just I agree just, just, just look at North Korea, and then they have the capacity to do extraordinary good, right? Okay. Meaning you have doctors out there that are going. For example, people that serve in Doctors Beyond Borders. Those are doctors that are literally le legitimately risking their life to just save somebody else's that most of the people don't give a fuck about. Those are the people. And that's where... Well, 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 well my response was more specifically, because we were talking about the ultimate. Um, uh, yeah. And, and when you said that Jesus is the ultimate, mm -hmm. and so my rebuttal to that is that I don't consider an ultimate being to tell a slave to obey their masters. Again, what do you consider a slave? Aren't you a slave so, to your ideals? No, that's that's a poetic form of slavery, and it's there's, not and a poetic there's, form because yes, you have yes, to. Yes, it is. That, that's like that's like saying I'm a sla I'm a slave to my job. I, like I'm not really a slave to my job. I'm not a, like there's 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 no freaking cliff notes in the Bible that says well well actually you guys got to think about every one of these things. Of course, and that's, and that's what and that's right, what, on the New Testament on the Old Testament. Doesn't Those matter. Testaments, got, it doesn't matter. Because it, because see that's what I'm saying because now because now you go to to depending on the on the Christian or the believer that you're talking to, because a lot of them would say that it, um uh, uh some of them would say that God is not changing from the Old Testament to the New Testament and and others would say that um when Jesus came now they're under the new covenant so that's that's, that's so that's why I kind of like stand back here and I'm like and, yeah and you're observing to, to, you're to, observing to, it to what they say you're not actually thinking things through and viewing it from a different perspective.
because well, I'm reading. I'm reading it. Uh, well, first of all, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I haven't read the whole Bible, but I have read. I've read plenty of it, um, and it's like I'm reading it at face value. Yeah, that's that's wrong, because you cannot. I do right, you do right. you watch a movie at face value? It's a fiction, dude. It's a, you cannot watch it at face value if it's a fiction. And that is a fiction, so, so, period. So we agree. So we agree. It's a fiction. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, that's it's, what it's, I was it's saying. Entirely subjective to everyone. Correct. And then, right. So then, to, so that, so that's what I'm. So that's that's my point. And that's the thing that that Peterson uh, doesn't doesn't uh, address. If he were to say, if anyone, if anybody that quotes the Bible were to start the conversation with, we understand this is a fiction. Then he I does that. He no. He, he yeah, please, listen to the oh Bible God, series. Please, please show listen me what he says is a fiction. The, listen to the Bible series. I'll find. I'll I've, find. I've, the heard, I've heard him talk about the Bible, and I've no, not no, once no, no, heard, no, no, heard no, him no, say, no, no, say no, no, that. No, 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 no. You've heard him talk about the Bible. You have not heard the Bible series on YouTube. Go, it's either in the first or the second all, episode. All I need is to hear. If you could find that for me, that'd be great. Because yeah, I, I like I, I, I said, should, I should said, have stopped listening to him after that after that discussion because it was like, oh my god, this guy is like he's not perfect. He's not oh, perfect. We even are, with Ham we are Harris, far from it. Yeah. He, even, even with with uh, Sam Harrison, he said that he had a debate, and it oh, was. I could was, sit through that conversation. It was. It was. Oh it, was too, it was. Uh, <laughs> so he had the debate, right? I have not heard the debate, but in in one of the Bible talks again, because he has a series based on the Bible, the twelve episodes, I believe, uh, basically talks that he has. He was like, you know. Uh, I had to sit down with Sam Harris and I really did not do a good job because he went back, he listened to it again, he said, and I thought it through and I was like, oh, he made certain mistakes over there that he shouldn't mm. have made. And he bluntly says that. Also, um, in I think it was in the first episode, it was Chaos in Order and the idea of God or something like that, where he actually says that uh, it is metaf like the Bible is full of metaphors. It was written by many people, edited by even more people, and, yeah. and translated even, after translation yeah. after and translation. Even in the <laughs> earliest adoptions of Christianity, even in the earliest adoptions of Christianity, yeah. uh, there were certain priests like 300 uh, years uh, in, right, like the 300 AD, mm. that they were saying this should be taken as a metaphor, as a guideline, not literary. And that's like, that's what I'm saying. You hear that? <laughs> that, that? That's what I was saying. Like, it's all right, it's all a right, very, yeah, yeah. it's a very, if you listen to it and if you don't listen to, uh, whatchamacallit, don't listen to confirm your biases. Listen to understand, like observe what he's saying versus. Oh, oh no, yeah. No, I b believe you leave you me. I've. I, I do so, you know I'm I'm not saying I'm perfect at that but I, but I do my best I'll really I'll really listen to some, to his uh, uh, his religious um, talks but I I straight up had to stop listening to him talk because it's just it's all this like the the superposition is it, it kind of reminded me of that guy, that that uh, that freaking guy with the glasses. What's his name? I think he's Picture Deepak Chopra. You ever heard of Deepak Chopra? I have heard of him. Oh and... my god! Like all this, like fucking pseudo scientific bullshit. It's just like, oh well, you know, we're we're actually. Which I'm not gonna lie. I used, to, you know, I used to believe this shit. Like the, what, what the quantum it? physics or the not quantum physics. Quantum physics is a science like that. That I I uh, I don't understand what the fuck it is because that shit is so fucking complicated. But from the from the little nips that i can get is that once you uh once you uh look through a telescope like the smallest of smallest um there is no there is no solid um and nothing really touches like yeah you, you i know, heard about you know, that you, too yeah, 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 there's, yeah, some, yeah there's some like crazy shit but then you have all these like pseudoscientific dumbasses who take that as like, oh, that means that there's a thing, and then there's a thing, and it's a, the super precision. I mean, they believe. The yeah, blah, blah, they believe blah, blah, that blah, now the that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 they, they actually believe that now dark matter is what holds the whole universe together. Yeah. And and like what blew my mind once uh, I was listening to Neil deGree Tyson, mm. and when he said that they're different, like they're inf infinite number of. In of infinities and some infinities are bigger than others that's like what <laughs> like, does that even mean what does that I even mean like, you know uh, dude oh, i man. get it but but coming back Forever. like i think i think we should really do uh you know we should really Science work class. on uh we should really work on a um on a podcast where we can talk about religion like mm. that because i think that 
that would be quite interesting, quite quite a conversation. Because the we second keep, we could still keep talking about it, if you. Want. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> I know we got other shit to talk yeah, about. Yeah, 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 we have plenty yeah, of more yeah, yeah. interesting <laughs> shit to talk about, and actually, we have to cheer, it. dude. We've been like what? Oh shit! Twenty minutes, in oh, and, shit. <laughs> and we you haven't know, cheered. You know, it's yeah. funny. I saw you pour it. I'm like, yo, should I drink my coffee <laughs> or should I wait? It's right there. Uh, see, guys, proper wine glasses. When you cheer, you have to look and die because it just yeah. makes it that much more valuable. Yeah, you know, you like you really. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like the spice note at the end. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. And um, on that note, we're going to stop with Jordan Peterson and Sam Harris. Uh, yeah. I have to, I really want to start listening to Sam Harris. And see, this is this is speech. I was started listening to Ham Sa- for Sam Harris. Yeah, Sam Harris. Mas, mas, <laughs> I was mas, like, uh, mas, mas, mas. <laughs> I was gonna say Ham, uh, Ham Sam. <laughs> uh, so, we we'll, we we'll definitely. Oh shit! I don't know shit about Kyle Rittenhouse. Can you explain <clears throat> something to me? Okay. Um, yes. That's so, my bad. I yeah, was supposed to uh, do some uh, research on that motherfucker, no. and I did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So. <clears throat> Basically, um, Kyle, Mr. Kyle Rittenhouse. I don't. Why mean, is he has to be a Mister? I'm assuming. Why we're I'm a, him? I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Why are we respecting him? I'm like. Oh man. Um. So this this kid, because he was he was uh, 17 when he did this. Um. He went. He came. He left his home state, mm-hmm. armed mm-hmm. to protect. Um, businesses to protect his country. He's not a military man. He's nothing like that. Um, or maybe he was gonna sign up. Then the following year, he was seventeen. Um, uh, this this was after the uh, not George Floyd. Who was after George? It's fucked up. Who was after George Floyd? Who was the other uh, the other gentleman that got that got killed? The, many. That's a, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Before uh, see man. So. So, the, so there were going to be protests, and um, when like the news do, you know, riots, riots, it's going to be a riot, and blah blah blah. Um, so then a, a, a bunch of people panicked, including this kid. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, he left his home state to go mm-hmm. to another state, armed to pr- do the shit. And there's uh, there's a clip, there's a video where. Um, there's like an altercation. Mm-hmm. It looks like he's being chased. Mm-hmm. Um, Which state did he go to to begin with? I, I, I fuck. I, I can't remember. Uh, if you want to, you want to Google it while I while I tell this while I tell the yep. story. So we, you know, um, please. Um, and in the altercation, he and he shot. Uh, what is it? He shot and killed two people and injured one. So now he's going to trial for murder. And um, people are trying to see like whether he is um, uh, where he should be convicted or not. Um, and of course, you know, I was watching Mister uh, Ben Shapiro because mm-hmm. I love I love me listening to freaking points of views, man. And Actually, just, he's not that bad. He's not that bad, but like he, but often, he, often, very often he says some dumb shit, and like like uh, with uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. I forget exactly what he said, but like he like basically portrayed him. I was like, oh no, he was just he was gonna. Oh, he was uh, he was like Kyle Rittenhouse. Like he he went to uh, bring uh, provide medical help and to help all these other people. Like already at the beginning of his uh, of his of his segment, he he said he he's like it's like painting a picture of this guy who's gonna go save somebody. It's like, dude, this motherfucker left with guns and weapons and like okay. doesn't look like a fucking medic. All right. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So and the trial just started. So basically, my thing, my thing is, um, this kid, kind kind of like the people that stormed the Capitol. Like they, he left his house with a mission. There was a reason why he left the way he left. They they left. Um, the people in the capital, they left to fucking take over the government, whether they did or not. That's what that is what the intention was to now take, this, over, to the take go- over the government. I now thought it they, was to 
to stop a democratic process, but okay. Yeah, potato, potato, bro. <laughs> no, listen, I've been part <laughs> to of stop those. The, to stop the democratic, what's the difference between stopping the, hold on, we, we, we could jump into this. Okay. So um, they left, regardless, they left with a purpose. Mm-hmm. So it was like this kid, being that he was young and stupid, I'll give him that. He was 17, because I remember being 17 and being fucking very revolutionary anarchist over mm-hmm. here. Um, I understand the stupidity. That doesn't change the um, the act. It doesn't change what what uh, what transpired. Mm-hmm. Um, so the kid left armed mm-hmm. to defend his country from his countrymen that were upset about an injustice that had just happened. Um, I don't know if it's grounds for him to get like the full degree of murder, murder. But that is, let us not pretend like what he did was self-defense or was innocent. So okay, like, so what was the let, 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 Let's let's. Well, oh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm I'm looking at Wikipedia. Can we agree that Wikipedia Wikipedia is a decent source of accuracy? Decent source, yes. Okay, so they're saying that uh, he left uh, in can, the unrest happened in in Wisconsin. Uh, he left Illinois, and he was armed with a Smith & Wesson and MP15 rifle. Um, he also had a medic kit on him, right? Like, so those are the facts that uh, Wikipedia is saying. Now, in the Wisconsin location, at the first location, he was pursued by a group, including a Kenosha resident named Joseph Rosenbaum. A gunshot was fired in the air by a third party, and Rosenbaum launched at Rittenhouse and attempted to take away his rifle. Rittenhouse then fired four times at Rosenbaum, who died shortly afterwards. Now, if you ask me, that's a little very subjective, and I really cannot pass a judgment on that, because if I was armed in a different state that also has legal carry arms, right? I think Wisconsin gun laws. Let's let's check Wisconsin gun laws. Because when we talk about this, I would like to approach it with like, yeah, he killed two people. Okay. We already know what happened. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the circumstances, right? Now, if Wikipedia sh- is saying that Rosenburn launched at him and he was already uh, being pursued by a group of people, then that could very well, in the court of law, uh, stand as a self-defense. It, it's not like he went out there and he started shooting in them. He was already being chased by somebody. Right. So, you know, I think that uh, we should leave that one a little bit for the next podcast so I can actually... Because the first thing that I saw the news and it was like, oh, this guy... And I'm like, motherfucker, like, I don't need that. Like, give me what happened. R- right, right. What, 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 are, what are the details? Yeah. Like, and like, so can, the, kind of the reasons why I, I brought up the people that uh, went, to, went to the Capitol was because they left with an intent. Um, we, can, okay. we can speculate that he brought, that he brought in the, 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 uh, that, the medica- that the medical kit was to help others. No, 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 no. We, we don't speculate. We're saying that he has a medical kit. Why that medical kit was there, we don't know. But that's he what, had that's medical the, right, that's kit the, No, him. no. Yeah, so I guess, I, I guess I, I'm just kind of going to tie this back to the Shapiro thing about mm-hmm. like painting him in that light that was like he was going there to provide help. He was pro- you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, so like, so like, that's, Shapiro that, that, was wrong, but so so are the other people saying right, right, right. All, 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 all. You know, I guess, I guess, in a way, all. Um, uh, I guess we both are trying to do is just bring clarity, like get all that fucking extra cloud. Yeah. You know, like to, to get out of your fucking bubble and let's look at this for what for what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, and if, you know these are, these are the facts um, that uh, that 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 happens. So then you know. Let's let's put it through the freaking system and we'll see we'll see where that goes. But let us not pretend like this motherfucker was there to mm-hmm. freaking. I'm here to help, guys. I got, okay. got band aids for everyone. You know, it's like that, so, that, 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 that's why he said. That's why he said like maybe not the full extent of like he like murdered somebody, but it's like let us not pretend that this motherfucker went there with an intent. Yeah, yeah, no. There you was definitely there yeah, was definitely yeah, yeah, an yeah, intent yeah. That's, there, that's, but that's, gonna, that's, that, that's but, where that's where I'm at. Yeah, but yeah, so here's what says about the second person, right? Mm. So the first person lunged at him. He shot four times. He lunged at his rifle. He shot four times. The guy's dead. Second, 
At the second location, Rittenhouse tripped while fleeing and a man kicked him. Rittenhouse fired at the man twice but missed. Protesters approached Rittenhouse while he was still on the ground at Silver Lake and Silver Lake resident Anthony Huber struck Rittenhouse with a skateboard and struggled for control of his rifle. Rittenhouse then fired at uh, Huber once, killing him. Um, West Alice, resident of Gage Gross... Gross... Well, that's a fucking German ass <laughs> name. <laughs> like, holy shit. Um, the, the right. Then approached Rittenhouse while holding a handgun, and Rittenhouse shot him once, severing his right biceps. Rittenhouse was arrested and charged for mot- for multiple counts of homicide, unlawful possession of a firearm, and other. And another teen was arrested and charged for uh, with unlawfully supplying Rittenhouse with a rifle. Oh, this is guy, and he has, Ooh. yeah. See, the, all all the things that they actually, um, what is it called? All the things that they reference are news channels, but I like how they took away the, you know, he was there with the tent, with no intent, right, and right. like. So, yeah, we can definitely talk about this guy a little bit more on the next yeah, podcast. I mean, the, the trial just started, so, oh, yeah, we... It's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, like, how the fuck is, uh, what's his name that shot the producer? Not going to go to oh, jail. Oh, man. It, w- it was a girl, right? The, it was a girl yeah, producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's not going Alec to jail? Baldwin. No, he's not going to He's definitely not going oh, to jail. Oh, oh, Alec, Alec Baldwin? No, no. He, uh, I mean... No, you I, know he has he's killed more people now than 99% or 90% of the police. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, tr- can't trust those, uh, those fucking liberal actors, bro. <laughs> there you go. No, man. No, that's, that's fucked up, bro. Like, the, the more details that keep coming up about that shit, that's, so, that, that's fucking fucked up. But uh, apparently a lot of the accidents, mm-hmm. um, I was watching uh, my dude uh, on Legal Eagle, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the gun accidents that have happened involve revolvers. In the, um, yeah, that, uh, that technology has not changed since 1901. Yeah, like, like the, they, um, it's, uh, they were saying like, uh, one thing that I hadn't thought about is that um, every, other, uh, every other handgun, you know, like, the, like, mm-hmm. the, like I don't know the freaking names, but like automatic handguns or whatever, um, you're, they're, there's they're, a safety. They're, they're, yeah, they have, not only they have safeties, but they have like actual props that work you know that are that sh- that don't shoot actual guns, but have all that all those effects. Okay. Re- revolvers they still require a bullet, mm-hmm. but you know obviously they're blanks. But at close enough a range, they can cause some fucking damage. Yeah. So so you like can, you can kill somebody with an air rifle with just yeah the, yeah no 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 pumping no, no. it up and putting it right here and just shooting. Oh my, oh my god, yeah, that's <laughs> air pressure. Yeah. Right. 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 It's like so, it's simple so, fucking physics. Okay. Right. <laughs> like, right. So so um, which is which is one of the things that um, filmmakers do is that they have a, a proper people that are proper gun handlers mm-hmm. on set so that they can make sure that all the, that they're doing all the proper precautions. But apparently, this fucking idiot didn't do it. Um, and there's even more shit coming up that they were fucking um, shooting cans before hours before that accident happened. Like it's, it's with, with real with bullets? real with real bullets. Like and they found like bullets like uh, other places in the set. So like, was she shot with a real bullet or with a blind that just? No, it was. I think I'm pretty sure it was a real bullet. Like a real bullet was still in the fucking chamber. Oh, you know that's very funny. A lot of uh, people, a lot of high democratic. Uh, what is it called? People kind of end up dead. Like, remember that guy where he he died because he was about to release some shit on Hillary, and all of a sudden he, it was mugging oh, go the, wrong. Oh, he shot himself in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder why Hillary did it win. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, that was that was oh, hilarious. Man, like, no. oh, the, j- just for the, so for the record, we're not saying it's funny that somebody died, which is. You know, no, just funny that fuck. a lot of the, a, a lot of oh, high high end politicians and you know they just like to kill themselves from the back of the head. Mm. You know? <laughs> what was it? That, there was, there was that joke where a mobster was going on trial and then all of a sudden he was uh, acquitted of all crimes because uh, uh, four out of the five witnesses, uh, three of them jumped out of uh, a bridge, and uh, the fourth one. 
the fourth one repeatedly stabbed himself 13 <laughs> times. So the fifth one just uh, withdrew his statement. Oh, which, shit. Did you get a chance to watch uh, Cocaine Cowboys? No. Damn. Dude. My bad. It, it is the best shit. Like, this is how much the government does not give a fuck, even though they tell you that they give a fuck. First of all, can we can we say that? Oh, there's so much that, to say to it. To that that, 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 that the drug the drug market mm. is the only evidence of trickle down economy. That is the only evidence of trickle down economy. Trickle down economy. Yeah, where like if you give money to the people on top, like they'll trickle mm. down to to the poorer people, and that's like worked only with cocaine because I mean Miami is built on cocaine. Man. Dude, there is not. And did you know that in Miami, as long as you have money in an escrow account, you can buy any property. Ain't nobody gonna ask shit where that money came from. And then in Miami, they cannot take away your primary residence. Like, right. holy uh, shit! <laughs> like Florida. What was, what, was, is, what was that that you said? That Florida is a what? It's a first world. No, it's a it's a third world. No, it's a third world infrastructure with a fourth <laughs> world uh, with a fourth world government. Oh man, dude. Yeah, like. Dude, it's um, it is, and that's by the way. All you gotta do is just take a I look at oh Miami. Man, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, but just c gonna go a, a, a soft tangent with like Batman. Um, and I am Batman. Guy. I'm Batman. No, um, with like Batman, like the whole uh Batman universe. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because he's basically a vigilante. You know, he you know takes laws under his own hands and shit. But I I don't know how familiar you are with the whole Batman mythos. But his um his friend, a Commissioner Gordon, mm -hmm. he's very he he's like the commissioner of the of the Gotham Police Department. But he's like probably he's like the equivalent of Captain America without any of the powers. But he's like fucking by the book like i have to do this shit by the book because like he believes in the book because there has to be there have to be um and it's funny how like i've started to um appreciate that character more mm -hmm. um as i get older because you know when you're young you're just like you want to be vigilante you know want to you know be the be the cool guy but it's like as fucked up as the system can be i feel like Instead, uh, like this is the system we have, right? We're, we're like, we're like trying to, we're trying to um, create, I guess, the best, the best system that we can live in. Oh, I have so much to say about that. Go, go, go. Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, we're trying to create the best system that we can live in. If everybody is trying to do their own thing over here, their own laws, then that's, then that's, in my opinion, that's kind of like what brings the uh, the chaos. So as fucked up as the system is here. The change has to come from here, in order for it'll at least be easier for it to um, to expand and be as fair as possible. Because if everybody has their own thing, you know, like if you have your Batman's breaking the breaking the law, like breaking this and breaking that, it's like you gotta do, you know, you gotta like. If there's if there's a problem with the, with the law, let's fix the law. Let's not break it and do something else i'm not saying that sometimes breaking the law has gotten to some progressive mm -hmm. shit you know like um fucking uh, talk about talk about the freaking uh like the civil rights movements and shit when people fucking segregation and shit like people were like now nah, motherfucking motherfuckers you know um fucking with uh we're tying back to slavery it's like people like freeing slaves you know it's like fuck fuck out of here like that's wrong but like it was the system in the end that was that needed to be fixed so that the whole thing can we can work together mm. you know what i mean like yeah granted so, we caused a civil war but so that brings me back and it's so funny because oh, it ties tie very back, well tie, tie back. back to jordan peterson oh. so i was looking i was listening to this podcast of his it's called adam and eve self-consciousness evil and death it's the biblical series right mm. and he had a very interesting point that usually with rules and ju judicial systems especially, um, we actually first act it out and then we enact it into laws. And I was like, holy shit, this is very right. Especially when it comes to the wheat laws. And that, that, that was the, the most recent thing that I figured out that tied back to what he was saying, that 
first, like in the beginning, remember back in the day in the 70s and 80s, people went to jail, first of all, for the three strike ro- rule. Second of all, they were going to jail for a pound of weed, mm. which was like, what? When there's a bunch of motherfuckers fucking smuggling cocaine, cocaine worth millions of dollars and you go for away for one pound of weed? Yeah. Like, that's stupid. And then, right, like people did not stop smoking weed. People actually enjoyed smoking weed and they still enjoy it. And what did we do now? People, even before the weed was decriminalized in New York City, people were smoking out there on the street. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been to Washington uh, Square Park right mm. now or 14th Street. Dude, it's turned into garbage. Uh, I moved out of the city. I'm very happy I did because in the place where I lived, which was Inwood, red lights had become suggestions. I'm I'm going to take... I'm, I'm going to go there one <laughs> night. Dude, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you. People... Yo, and some of them run it like they stop and then just book it. Bicycles motorcycles or those mopeds they just don't even bother they just go and there a lot of times where people with powerful cars like dodge chargers or challengers like those uh, hellcats or whatever Mm -hmm. they'll just book it they don't give up like it has become a wild wild west to the point where somebody almost hit me while i was crossing on green and he was making a right turn on red and i knocked on his window he started to perch up i'm like what like i'm like dude i'm walking here yeah like i you know what? Fuck. Actually, we're going to make a <clears throat> special episode for that. Just I'm yeah. going to sit on a... There are a few intersections that that shit happens at that I know for sure. Do you have and a dash guess cam? what? Huh? you have a dash cam? No, not yet. You should, oh, you should get a dash cam. I know. And you know what? Another thing is uh, that I noticed lately, these dumbasses that cut on the highway. Mm. I don't know if it happens by you, but dude, there's Instagram accounts, and I'll, I'll share some of those later on, where they are proud of this. They're like legitimately going in, into... The white lining, you know what? when a motorcycle uh, white lines basically goes between cars uh, on the white lane, mm-hmm. but they do that shit with cars. Oh my God, I've seen clips of that shit. That and shit it's so is inf- so stupid. The reason why they're not being stopped is because the cops started not doing shit because of all the p- protests. Because if you're, if I'm a cop oh, and I can't catch oh. one of those motherfuckers, he'll be running into every single pole and door that I see on the way to jail. Like, I'm not even joking. He'll be fucking handcuffed and be like, oh, nah, d- catch don't that do, pole to the face. Do, why would you do that? Don't do that. What do you mean, no? Nah? No. What are you going to hit? Those are the same motherfuckers that hit people and just bounce. No, 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 man. See, this is this, this is where my hit, hit comes in. Like, do, like, do one to others. I, I would not have done a good nah, cop. That's why I did. No, yeah, yeah. No, nah, <laughs> like, fuck that. Be don't like, become a cop, this guy. <laughs> like, no, no. See, like, cause the way I'm seeing it, um, oh my God, I saw, I saw, the, I saw this, uh, this recent, um, what is it, a legal audit? I saw this video, um, this, this uh, good cop taking, um, calling out this other piece of shit cop mm-hmm. who like uh, got got a, got a call um, about somebody banging on the door and they had a gun, and when he arrived, there was these two, um, these two black gentlemen. Just like one of them was just like walking in a parking lot, and the other one was like uh, was whatever this motherfucker comes out pulls gun out and shit on them uh, that's and, like, t- t- well, t- t- tells them hold on hold on t- tells them to get on the ground and like as my man is getting on the ground he just goes and fucking like stomps on him like on his back or, like while the man is getting on the ground and then blah 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 he um more officers come long story short they were able they let them go because they didn't find anything on them and when uh, one of the victims asked the police officer that, you know, that, that responded that what was so violent, was like, let me get one of your business cards. This, this piece of shit was like, oh, no, we don't get business cards. And as he said that, another police officer, like, standing right in front of him, is like, no, no, hold on, hold on. We get business cards. And like, yo, she gives the, the like, the fucking hardest stare because he's like mm-hmm. so the point of view is from the guy's dash cam the bad yeah, guy's yeah, dash yeah, cam yeah. like all you see like her fucking eyes just like like you piece of shit yeah those are pieces yeah, of shit you know that's what I'm saying um, like, I, I'm so happy that I don't have a badge on the gun because no. if like, I see people like that especially there's two things that I I hate with passion if you hit a person and you bounce on them like even a car if you uh, flee uh, the, uh, the, uh. The, the, the scene of an accident if I'm a cop and I catch you I have issues with those deep issues where because it has happened to me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, 
And, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, man, uh, my, I'm so happy that I don't have a gadget, a, a badge, yeah, and me a too. Because <laughs> no, because there's like, certain uh, people that are just and and that's kind of kind of goes back to what we're saying. It's like you know, like it has to be done the right way. Mm -hmm. Because now, even though you were justified in arresting somebody, all your shit goes out the window for the simple fact that you fucking bang beat them up along the way. Because now, yep, now, yep, yep. now, what you did—that good deed that you did—it went to shit because you, you, you were trying to prove a point. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there's no, there's, there, there's, there's no reason um, to, to. It, it, Oh my god! Uh, uh, there's no reason to go down to that level. Is there's like oh, so you're the, saying the, that the, the that big the like we must like we just have to be as hard as it is. We have just to have be to be the better person. There's yeah. just no I, way. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no way around it. You know, um, I don't give a fuck. Like it's. I'm not saying it's easy. You know, and like that's what that's one of the things that I will always say about police officers. Get these motherfuckers therapy, mandatory therapy, once a month, twi twice a month. Too. Mandatory vacation Just give these, give these people a fucking minute. And I'm not saying like, um, I would say more therapy than vacation because vacation, I feel like you could just go and party and like not really care. Just no, no, say, no. You don't need to be so. But like, th just somebody to talk to because like therapy goes a long way. You know, you're on. able, you're, you're able to break down the shit. But like, you need to go and sit down and fucking talk to somebody. Or, or like how we spoken about before, you need better training, um, like fucking some sort of degree, some social help, like some social work um, degree, some background. Because like, dude, like, the, the, I, I don't want, I don't want to imagine, I, I don't want the, the level of, the was, level of stress that. that you have to be the first person that responds to a freaking shootout. Like, I, like that's like I, I commend you for that, but I also want to get you help. I don't want you to be out there being all fucking vengeful. And fucking, you know, hurting your reputation when you started as a good cop and now you're a piece of shit because your buddies were fucking feeding you all this extra bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we just have to be the better person, man. I'm not sure if that was the book that I wanted to um, reference here. Uh, uh, emotional survival for all, for law enforcement. I, mm. I don't think that's the book. I will find the book exactly. And um, we can probably post a link down there. But there was a study done, and it turned out that when a police officer is on duty, his uh, adrenaline is much higher than any other person that's on duty. Meaning like firefighters, uh, doctors, shit like that. But when they're off duty, their attention level not their attention levels oh my god which uh the the adrenaline levels dip way below the normal person so they they legitimately on an emotional roller coaster oh man on and off duty yeah, that's why i'm okay. saying that um, yeah they should um they should um and you know that person I, I, was I, also i believe that though because can you imagine having like there has to be there has to be some form of uh of uh power surge that you get from the fact that even when you're relaxed I'm I'm, I'm the police officer I have my I have my gun here with only I gun have you badge. have power over people yeah. right right you know and and again growing up I thought you know the the the, the, the police officers they, they were they, they were my heroes um I'm not bashing them but let's analyze this because these are the people that are in charge of of keeping us safe that's why when we spoke about before about the phrase defund the police how it's so how it's just so stupidly phrased in my opinion it's polarizing because, yeah right it's it's dumb it's it's, it's dumb it's, it's it's divisive it's ridiculous it's like no let's i better understand police, I, I understand listen, what, i understand police. what the what the what the left saying i understand what the right is saying like how, how can we all not see what what everybody's saying it's like no I know, it's because I know. of the phrasing because that's, it, that's what i mean had you said better <clears throat> police yeah better training like something, but defund the police just sounds so much more. And of course, every fucking news source pick it up. Yeah. And now every fucking news source has it on the front page. Defund the police. Defund the police. Oh, but we don't mean defund the police. The fact that you have to fucking explain yourself to people that are clearly against you, like, bro. <laughs> it, it's it, again. It's you have ridiculous. to. You have to be precise in your speech. And uh, right. uh, what was it? Uh, we're talking on the on the topic of defund the police, the stupid phrase to begin with, mm. but also 
again, it comes down to Florida being the predictor of the of the future U.S. or the U.S. twenty years. Um, I I think that Fucking that with with that. with these new <laughs> with these new vaccine mandates and shit like that, even though COVID, you know, beyond a doubt, COVID has been the biggest killer of police officers since COVID started. Um, and now those massive walkouts that they're seeing, that happened in Miami in the 80s. And you know what happened? What, what massive walkouts? Well, people are retiring because they're like, fuck you, I'm not going to get vaccinated oh, 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 because you oh, mandated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, Has so, it been that, that significant? I thought it was, it was like a smaller. Do you know, it's quite people. significant. Mm. I mean, like if 10% if, if of your police force quits, right? Mm. which is not significant to the it police. Doesn't, it doesn't sound, yeah. but it's a lot have, of people. Well, not only that, you have to replace those and then the standards get lower. That's why when that shit happened in the beginning of the 70s, again, Cocaine Cowboys, mm. that's why I wanted you to watch it. Man. Because okay. it's very obvious that when police officers there started walking out of their jobs and retiring, they had to fill those spots. So they got subpar people. Mm to fill those jobs and guess what happened they turned out to be corrupt cops what what did the, uh, do you remember why they walked out back then because they they were not allowed to use uh, um, automatic guns on criminals that were firing at them with automatic guns so they they, they had to use their revolver only or like the pistol is when somebody's firing at them with ar-15 what? So, yeah <laughs> It was it was some dumb shit like that, man. And they just You're walked lying, out. You're like, for real? Yeah. Watch the oh fucking movie. Oh my god. Watch the. I, I watch the movie. Cap, they got bazookas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, you just slingshot. You'll be alright. <laughs> oh like, shit! All right. Ah. <laughs> Yo, it's fun. like any normal person, oh, and and that's why I don't agree with 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 people with people say not only that demilitarize the police. No, 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 no. You need certain types of police officers to be doing certain type of work that is not required all the time but when it is required like that standoff that happened between the militia on the highway between the militia and the state troopers when these motherfuckers pulled up legitimately with like 50 mil machine guns and shit like that and the state troopers like okay i have a glock <laughs> like <laughs> bye <laughs> Like, what the, no, you need oh, specific. Man. <clears throat> and, and like, but, see, but see, I guess, I guess it it all. Um, it, 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 I'm pretty sure the people in the in the in the gun um, side would say it's about the person that's handling the gun. So it kind of goes back to what we were saying about. So we understand. So we agree that the person handling the gun is is uh, oh, yeah. it's important. Oh, yeah. So then we agree that they need better training. So we agree that they need, we need to, our police officers need to have certain standards. I'll, oh, because oh, I'll be for, I'll be for, I'll be for making sure that they have, if, there's a difference between having a gun trainer, not the Alec Baldwin one, uh, there's a difference between having a gun trainer, having, having a revolver, than a fucking guy fucking walking back and forth in the freaking hood with a gun. Like, there's two different types of po people. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that's trained that knows how to use a weapon, I'm not that concerned about them having a weapon. Yes, I understand. Yeah, but what if they go crazy? What if they have a bad day? Uh, yeah, that, that's true about anybody. Just saying, if a person is trained and they have the proper education and they know that fucking using these heavy ass artillery is the last source, the last re resource, then I'm, mm -hmm. then, I'm then I'm all for it, you know? But like, but the, they, those people should also not be patrolmen. Those people should not also be. They be spe what are they? Special SWAT. units. Yeah, <laughs> SWAT or whatever. But let's ESUs. just fucking train these motherfuckers. Like, make sure you know. Um, like it's it, it's so wild because in and on paper it seems so simple. It's if you if you if you it's the if you thing if you like man. see if you like look at it, it's like okay it's it, so the solutions are simple. It's all in the fucking details. Because the moment you, you um, at least I've noticed, I've seen this, like the moment you try to like change something, you're trying to adjust something, you can't just mandate it. You can't just like fucking uh, 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 like, this is what you're gonna do now. It's like, no, we need to ex you need to explain the situation, explain the solutions, why we're choosing the solution, and then we move forward. 
Because if you just go like, boom, this is what we're doing now. Uh, fuck, no. my pants are not even on yet. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like then then it, then it all goes to shit. Like, dude, and I, and, I, and I said this at the last episode. I was like, dude, give yourself a fucking minute to think. Just real Very life, hard. every day, give yourself a wake up and just fucking I would sit say, and think. I would not even say think, observe. Because observing is a lot, will give you a lot more info than thinking. Because thinking, you can go down into. I'm saying observe rabbit. and think. But it's just, just not, 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 to, not to be too analytical here, because it's like if you're observing, like oh, I could be observing you do live your your whole life, but I need to think about the things you did, why you did it, how it. You know what I'm saying? Well, that that, that will, um, that's the best part because by observing, you will get all that information without you needing to think. By observing, oh, you understand. You to, you to, no, you need to think, bro. No, 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 no. By observing, like to understand actions, you need to observe. Because if you start thinking while you're while well, you're I need to understand why you did something. And that will be the information you get before and after I do it. What yeah. led me to do it? All that stuff. Like, let's say you have somebody like the Truman Show, right? Mm. Where you can observe his life through and through. Then just observing it. Would, I mean, you have 24 hour feed. Just by observing, you would understand. Because you will get all those pieces of information that you might omit when you're thinking. The thinking comes later on when you have all the facts. Like that's what I love about the American judicial uh, system. Yeah, I think we're saying the same. We're saying the same thing. Yeah, I, I guess I, I, I just mean like in the, in the, in the yeah, yeah, general but, sense oh, of things. Yeah, but most observe, yeah. important is observation for me. And then, because then you would learn what you need to know. Versus, versus if you start thinking, if you, like, no, no, if, I'm not saying start with the thinking, I'm saying like they kind of go hand in hand. You observe, oh, yeah, 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 then you uh, then you analyze it because, correct, you, correct. yeah, because otherwise, if I'm just like, oh, well, George is you know, like if I'm watching you like throw a punch, mm -hmm. like, okay, so you did this, mm -hmm. and now I injured myself. I'm like, oh, the reason why he was doing it like this was because X, Y, and Z, I wasn't doing this, you know, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, you know, so like they kind of, you know, they couldn't go hand in hand. So, um, mm. that's, yeah, I mean, but, for, I mean, on the topic of police, that we have been discussing police a, a lot, and I, I would say one more thing. No I, think that, I think that we should, that the police uh, commissioner should be separate from any political party, and we should have, actually, elections for those police, police commissioners, and we should have... Um, mm. Yeah, I really dislike that. I really dislike that the well, fact like, that commissioners are part of a political party. Oh yeah, dude. Mm. For, with New York City, for example, every commissioner is uh, commissioners are elected with the mayor. Yeah. So the if the mayor changes, the police commissioner most likely will change with him. It's stupid. If the, if the pol if, it's so, stupid. so if we if we get a Republican mayor. We're gonna get a Republican police commissioner, like, yeah. Is it like the vice president? Yeah, in a way. That's stupid. It is. They're not the same thing, <laughs> dude. <laughs> laws and enforcing them are completely different yeah, because get the again, fuck out of here. because again, we first act it out and it then we turn it into law. And you know, which is so stupid. But like coming back to the Bible, this is exactly why. Moses went and got the Ten Commandments before, because beforehand everybody was uh, he coming. Was high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was, but also be, before before Burning that. Bush. <laughs> uh, before that, if you think about it, if if you read the Old Testament, uh, Israelites were coming to him and bitching to him. Oh, he did this. Oh, he did that. I don't know. And he was getting overwhelmed, so he went up on the mountain. And he he thought about it. And he was like, wait a second. He goes, these are the laws we have been living by to begin with. <laughs> Let's and again the whole marijuana smoking shit, right? People have been smoking on the streets of New York way before that it became criminalized. Right. I mean decriminalized. And cops were not really like, oh what, they're gonna arrest you for a joint? Like and do paperwork? Like cops don't wanna do paperwork. They wanna be out there. Most of the cops that I know, um, which happen to be good cops to be honest, they're there for the job to do the best they can. And it's you see, you see the difference of, of the way they act around their friends versus other people who are just there for the pay because cops get a really sweet pay. They do. Dude, after seven years, you get 120000 no. just from walking through the door. That's no overtime, none of that. Um, 
I'm gonna we're gonna pull out the pull, um, the salary report for uh, New York City cops and uh, New York New Jersey Port Authority because those are available and you can see how much money they make, dude. A lot of them. There's certain police officers that make more money than the motherfucker that's running Port Authority. Damn. Yeah. And you know what? Um, it's police job is very stressful. And I will tell you, forget yeah. the guns. No, no, no. Forget the guns. Forget the guns. Forget, forget the the crimes that you deal with. Right. Forget the bullshit that you're gonna see through your life and the horrors. Because let's not forget that a patrolman would be probably the first one on the scene of a gruesome murder. Bro. Right? So That's sad as shit, dude. It's it's not is it sad? Yes. No. See that that that's yeah. a, I I wanna say it's sad because that's what you're signed up for. No. That just be yeah, just because a doctor wants to help people doesn't mean that they are freaking thrilled to see a fucking, you know, mutilated body. I mean, I mean one of my one of my friends he's uh he's doing He's gonna finish his residency in family medicine, and he's going back to ER because he was an ER nurse, mm -hmm. right? Very smart guy, by the way. Um, you know, dude, oh, if I'm you're not, watching oh, this, oh, oh, okay. congratulations to you. You really are out there, fucking making changes, putting yourself out, out on the line, and I have immense respect for you. But this dude mm. first became a nurse, then when uh, went and completed medical school, I think he completed medical school outside of the US, came back, took all the exams, passed them. Now he's doing his residency in, uh, he's down in, in Atlanta. Um, I don't want to say his name because of the fact that of the topics we uh, converse over here, they're very polarizing, a lot of them. And I don't want people to go and cancel him because he's really, a conscientious person that's not afraid to put in the work and uh he's getting he's on his last year of residency as a family medicine and then he's gonna do his fellowship in uh er medicine and we know what er is right i mean yeah. by the way i don't know if you know but there's a show called 911 bronx no yeah and it's about saint barnabas hospital i recommend people watching it just to see the 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 the, the problems that those people have to solve with fractions of a time and i think that a lot of times certain police officers have to have similar problems that they have to resolve with similar time frames uh, and um we just need a lot smarter people and yeah they'll get bored you know i think that they should be um not only a hierarchy which is already exist in the police force but um you should have certain specifications or specialties mm -hmm. where a patrolman can be only a patrolman. Making a patrolman a detective could, he needs to prove that he is detective worthy because detectives actually have a very hard job. And, you know, a, a, another acquaintance of mine, um, uh, he's honestly a piece of shit. I, 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 don't, I don't agree with anything that he's saying, but he started saying to me that, oh, well, you see, uh, crime hasn't risen that much. Uh, because the cops stopped doing their job and he was criticizing how police officers, um, not police officers, but actually NYPD can solve only 35% of the serious crimes. And I'm like, yeah, because nobody fucking talks. Because, in, and, and that's why, uh, that's going to be like a very good segue to um, Takashi. Mitel Takash Cash. Takash Cash. Go, go ahead. <clears throat> All right. So my thing. Mm-hmm. All right, so my thing about this, uh, this Cash Cash, the Cash Cash character, yo, Mister Sixty Nine. Actually, no, no, no. Let's call him the Cash Cash. I actually like that. All right, the Cash Cash, the Cash Cash. Um, I don't know the specifics about uh about the whole ratting out. If he ratted out the right people, mm -hmm. my thing is, as a person that calls himself poser. Don't be a fucking poser to cash cash. Like, don't fucking like talking your shit about like you being gangster and you doing all this gangster shit. It's kind of why I fucking I, I hated that movie, American Gangster with Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the dumbest shit. It's like, why? Be because there, there's there's a th there's a 
uh, remind me, the, the, maybe the, I might be wrong, but he gave up dirty cops. He can, well, that's the thing. The thing about being gangster, and at least from what I understand it in my in my experience growing up in Yonkers, is that a gangster is gangster. Um, they don't rat. They're not a rat. Doesn't matter who it is. They don't rat. Period. So wait, 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 wait. So okay. So uh, sorry, sorry. So that, that, that's that's kind, that's kind of it. Just don't portray yourself like a like a fucking badass gang. Like you, why, you, you, why? You, you don't you don't get you don't get to be that person anymore. You you, you hold you, on. You, but why do you think a gangster should not rat? I mean, because it just it that's just that's just what a gangster is. Huh. That's, that's just what it is. You're not you, you you don't rat in the hood. You don't rat. That's that's just what you what you don't do. Somebody like. You but, you just like you fucking just shot somebody and then like and then nobody could find the gun and then the cops come like I'm not I'm not saying I'm for this culture because it's it's fucked up but I'm but there are certain definitions for certain things so like just you you ain't you ain't gangster if you're a fucking rat that that's uh, that's my thing so Period. then 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 I have I have a different understanding about gangsters because gangsters are somebody to me somebody that deals with highly illegal trade that is because in that case like more, most of the financial guys are going to be gangsters they never rat out dude not one of them fucking went to jail for 2008 and I'm reading books on that shit and everybody fucking knew what was going on and they're like oh I'm sorry so those are see to me gangsters has always been people people who, right. who try who deal with illegal trades and get respect and that's one thing that I'm okay with Takashi writing, uh, writing on or giving those people up. They never gave him the respect. They never, like he says it himself. That's just they, a bitch. No, no, no. They never gave him the respect. And, <laughs> respect and he did a lot of work. <laughs> he did a lot of work for them. He did a lot of work for them. <coughs> and you know what? Like, what, what, did, what did he do? Like, what, what would he was mean? smuggling drugs and shit like that. Like, he was laundering, they were laundering money through him. And then they were oh, just treating real? him. Yeah. And they were treating him like a piece of shit. Like, fuck you. I am there. See, that's why I'm like, okay, right. you might deal with whatever you deal with. If the, the, but the, the second you disrespect right. me and I'm a good a good worker and I deserve that respect, fuck you. I'm, then I'm going to take you down because that's another thing about gangsters. They have the full right to take you out. Right? It, and it doesn't have to be taking you out through gun violence. It doesn't have to be. They can just simply put you to jail. And that's what I really liked about American Gangster, that he was like, I'm not going to rat anybody from my current surrounding, but I will tell you about the uh, bullshit-ass cops, the dirty no, cops. No, he did rat at some of his people. I, I thought he did. No, they arrested his family, well, but he was like, I'm, my way out is going <clears throat> to be ratting out on dirty cops. Because I, I know he read it out on some on on on, uh, on some dirty cops, but I'm pretty sure he read it on some other people. No, mm. but then, see again, what do you think about gangsters? Like, yeah. because because violence. See, I I don't like the gangster culture because of the violence. Oh man, because it's I'm not pacifist. a pacifist. It, it, it's <clears throat> well, no, it's a business. Oh no no no! I said I'm a pacifist. Yeah, you're a pacifist, but like to me, it's like no, it's a business. And you treat business with business people like a business. That's why nowadays the, the, the gangsters nowadays are so fucking successful. You, can, you can't touch them. And it's because they run their shit like a business. And dude, if you, again, if you look at Cocaine Cowboys. <laughs> yo, are you getting all your info from Cocaine Cowboys? No, no, no. <laughs> a lot of different gangsters, by the way. A lot of different gangsters. Yo. Like, I love gangster movies. I mean. Uh, you want to take a hit? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Right. As I said, I'm, I'm gonna hold off on the weed a little bit. Um, I, I don't know about I, you, I, man. I already, I, I don't know if you noticed this before, but mm. I already smoke a lot less than you do. I, yeah. I, I, I'm like I'm high always, but I smoke very little. You know, like I take like two hits in the morning. Yeah. No. Like for I me, take another hit like at one o'clock. For me, good. you know, you know what the biggest thing about the weed was, and actually stopping it for a little bit. It gave me a certain clarity that I just did not have, and I started enjoying it. And you started enjoying it, or you didn't? No, no, I started enjoying that that clarity, and it has to do with um, probably with the fact that I started flexing, which is stupid. But yeah, you, you know flexing? about uh, so 
if you flex in the mirror by yourself, if you like, ah, da, 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 that releases serotonin into your brain, which makes you go back and try again. And for some reason, we never made me flex. So it's actually very predominant. Did Jordan in, Peterson say this? Uh, he did not say it. He gave examples with lobsters. And it kind of like, I was like, holy shit. It kind of made sense because I didn't listen to that podcast when he said it while I was high. And then I listened to it after I started flexing and started like, because I started working out a little bit, like doing, um, I fell in love with calisthenics. Dude, uh, and you can put up a, a couple which, of clips. Which was calisthenics? Um, uh, basically, it's all... Like stretching? No, 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 no. It's body weight, but the people that do a pull-up and then go all... Like gymnastics. Gymnastics oh. is a perfect example of calisthenics. Because um, I was looking into CrossFit, and then the CrossFit pull-up, dude, you look like you're flopping Oh, fashion. that shit, like... Yeah, you bro, look like... You, dude, you know what's fu it's funny? Because, like... Um, I... I, I I see, I see like other reputable um, fitness sources mm -hmm. make fun of that shit. Yeah, but especially at the, but calisthenics at the, guys. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but, but at the same time, I'm like, just you know, general curious to my uh, fit fitted people. Like, am I go, am I going crazy or is the, isn't that? Aren't they like working out more stuff? Like, isn't that good for your, you know, because you're moving more of your body? What? It's uh, just CrossFit like a or? Yeah, the CrossFit, like the CrossFit pull up. Is it doing? I guess my, so, I guess actually, actually even better. I guess my question is to the CrossFit people: What is that focus? You know, because when you do a workout, when you're doing something, you're working on something specifically. You know what I'm saying? So, so like if you're doing this curl, you're working on these muscles. Okay, so. What view it, view it, that, view it, dude. view it. Bodybuilding versus CrossFit versus calisthenics, right? Mm -hmm. Bodybuilding is way less. Uh, what is it called? So CrossFit is superior to bodybuilding because bodybuilding Ooh, superior. You, yeah, you're about to piss off some people, bro. What because you with, 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 with bodybuilding, <laughs> with bodybuilding, you're targeting specific muscles, mm -hmm. and those muscles you you're isolating them. So. A lot of bodybuilders, for example, cannot do a calisthenic pull-up. It will be very hard for them because they don't know the mechanics, and that would include a lot. Right, of, right. right? That, that would it, that would cause injury. Like yes, at, at, at least. It's like you can have somebody that's a bodybuilder and they will lift a fucking. They 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 would they'll be lifting, let's say, a um, like six hundred pound weight. Yeah. Right. Like they, they they will do let's say six hundred pounds of squat, and then they will try to lift a big AC and they'll hurt themselves. It's because the muscles that they're using, right? Like, on, on oh shoot, look at that. So the muscles on top, but you also have your core, super core muscles where I deeply embedded inside you. They don't exercise that. They exercise the hamstring, but yeah. their core is kind of like weak. It's more, it's more of an aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah, and um, which, is, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. It's like, you know, dude, not, bodybuilding not is bodybuilding is, is fucking sick. Bodybuilding is insane because you are sculpting your own body. You ever hear Arnold talk about oh, yeah. um, I, about, I, I, about I like about like Iron. recent? Yo, but no, like recently about like bodybuilders. Mm. It's like, ah oh, man, I, I'm like, I just drew a blank. God dang it! But is, he's basically like saying how um, they're not doing it right. Um, that they're not focusing on what he used to focus, which like, you know, being the, I mean, he's Mr. Universe, what, twice? No, you know? like six times, dude. No, for real? Yeah. Six times? Six times. Dang. Well, there you go, Mr. 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 But then, but then Fletcher, C.T. Fletcher, it's like he was like eight times. Yo, but see, you see, I don't, I can't, I cannot picture C.T. Fletcher. I can't even picture him. Dude. C.T. Fletcher was a beast. This he, motherfucker was he used taller to, than him? Yeah. Oh, I, black, black guy. Black guy. Oh no no no. CT, no, you're talking about the guy that played the Hulk. Uh, no no, uh, Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. No. C.T. Fletcher. Mm-hmm. Or was it C.T. Fletcher? I think it was C.T. Fletcher. Damn, he's still big. Yeah, but I he do cannot 62? walk. Yeah, but he cannot walk. Oh my, dude, I was watching this guy. 
No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Bro, you know what I was watching? Uh-huh. I was, uh huh. I was. Oh shit! I was. I was rewatching clips of uh, the Wilder and Fury fight. Have you seen Wilder's legs? Yeah, but it doesn't. What? What about them? So have you seen his legs? They are skinny. Yeah. Yeah, but th- th- that has no, nothing to I, do with I the know, power. I know, I know, but like, but they're like, I, like I had the propo- It's so out of proportion. Ronnie Coleman, Ronnie that's Coleman. the guy. Ronnie fucking Coleman, dude. That motherfucker. That motherfucker. Granted, he cannot walk anymore, yeah. but he was a beast. He was a beast. I think he has um, seven titles. Oh, eight. He has eight titles. Oh, this dude. Dude, yeah. Ronnie Coleman. Like, put a picture of him, man. Ronnie Coleman is the shit. That's fucking dedication, bro. Ronnie Coleman is the shit, but he cannot walk no more. Damn. For real? Yeah. He he, he needs those um, crutches. What, like, what his is, joints what? are done because he used to lift <sighs> weights. But... Have you seen Pumping Iron? No, I don't Dude, think so. Watch Pumping Iron. No. Because yeah. yes, what most likely what Arnold is saying is correct. Because with, with bodybuilding, it's all about not only sculpting your body, yeah. but how you present it. Dude, he took ballet classes to, <laughs> to, to get the lines right. Like Yo, what? To, to get all I that believe- shit. Yo, have you ever been, have you ever been to a ballet? Uh no, I have not. Bro. It's hard as shit. Oh, bro. Um, I was just telling the story to. Uh, who was I telling the story to? Anyway, um, a couple of years back for my girl's birthday, I uh, was like, she's a dancer, you know. Mm-hmm. She she would like ballet, so I took her to see the New York City Ballet. Mm-hmm. I was expecting. I, I, w- I was expecting the typical dude thing, and I was just gonna like sit there and watch. You know, I was like, oh, I'm sure it's gonna be okay, bro. That shit was fucking amazing. Oh yeah, dude. Like, haven't you seen Take Me to Church with that ballet dancer? No, I've, this is the first time I've like, I don't. Maybe I've seen a clip on a TV, uh, uh, like at a show or something, mm-hmm. but I've never like sat down and watched this thing. Mm. Like professionals do it. You know, and like by the, the way, way, that's all calisthenics, bro. The way they move, man, with like when the, they just like so it's like a feather, yep. But when you think it's like, oh, oh, that's cool, but no, like you analyze it, it's like, no, this is a person doing that, and you fucking, cannot even do one thing that they're doing, yeah. They, they jump and fall with such grace, fucking legs, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yo, that, yo, see, I, I, I sort of had, I, I had, I had a good to, to, to come back was sick. To, to come back to Wilder's uh, legs. It, you know, the size of the muscle does not constitute the power of the muscle. And if you look at, if, oh, you, man. if you look at at his power, how he gets his power, it's all from the base. And he has that wide base. That's why when when Fury disrupted that wide base, right? Because what what people would do is that Fury figured out. Two things in the first fight, 12th round. Mm. The first thing he figured out is that Wilder cannot fight off his back foot. The second thing he figured out is that Wilder was extremely Ah. reliant on his power. So when you cut that power, he didn't know, like Wilder and Klitschko had the same stance in a way. (laughs) It fell and it rolled, but still there. Nice. Wilder and Klitschko have the same stance. If you, if you look at that, Wilder and Klitschko have, have the same stance. What I didn't like about the third fight is that um, Fury took away the twitching. Because right. that twitching would overload your system. And again, when you're fighting in this controlled environment against an opponent, you need to overload their nervous system. right? And that twitching that uh, Fury has and in, in, in had displayed in his previous fights was not there in the third one and kind of I did not like that because he was in trouble fourth and fifth round when mm. Wilder landed that when he sent waves through his fucking body I was like oh god please 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 yeah. please like that's like a fucking movie bro that's like that's like fucking su- you know geeky again when you like mm-hmm. Superman punches something that's like some Dragon Ball Z shit and you see the waves yeah that and, shit and, was and, tough. And, 
And I think that now if boxers watch, everybody, I think, I honestly think that Wilder is done. And um, think he's gonna he's gonna just retire. No, I think he's gonna lose the next two or three fights he has, dude. For sure, he's gonna lose the next oh. fight. For sure, he's gonna lose the next fight unless if he's careless. If he's careless, no. Not even, I feel like if he get, if he if he no learns, because, because if he learns from this, he can't. What do you mean? He can't. Why not? Because when you get punched, when in the do you face, stop learning? No, no, no. When you get start, when you start getting punched in your face, it's very hard to to keep up with your plan. Uh, I, I said that in the last podcast. Wilder came in with a plan, yeah, and it worked perfectly for one round. Those hard body shots, those that boxing boxing stand where he he gave very little of his body, but Wilder does not have shoulder rolls. Wilder does not shoulder rolls. Yeah, like mm. like Mayweather. Once you get close with Wilder in close quarters, he does not know how to fucking box. And if the, you look at if you look at the highlights again, you would see that he had a very bad uh, habit of putting his head down. And what did this do? Uppercuts. Fury was uppercut. uppercut but you, but you don't think he could learn from this? No. He's way too deep into doing the same shit over and over and over and over again. Oh, so he he's fought like this in other fights. He's no, he's fought before Tyson. Nobody gave him an issue. No, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, I'm I guess I mean Tyson, I, I'm just, I'm, Tyson Fury. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm nobody just, gave I'm just him. Saying, I'm just saying that if you if you um, what would stop him? From being like, nah, son, I ain't going out like this. I'ma train harder. I see I fucked up. Let me let me go uh, do some shit. Have you seen that Cuban fighter Felix? I think his name. No. Heavyweight. Uh, watch him. Oh, oh, the uh, uh, the new cat that you were telling me about. Yeah. Oh, watch him. Yeah. Watch the way he moves. Wilder has no stand, mm. no chance against those moves. No chance. Uh, if he so puts a fight with him, that. Trust me, they're gonna start avoiding that kid. Yo, it'd be a cool comeback, though. I'm just, I'm just saying, if Wilder was able to like, be like, I don't know, I man. Wilder, Wilder is getting up there in age. Number one, number two. How old is he? Like 33, 34. Wilder, that's, ah, that's how this Fury isn't Fury like older than him? I think same age or year older. But Fury ha always had that style. Fury is, is they're, they're the same age. Yeah, I, pretty I much. Thought, I thought Fury was was a little older. I thought he was like in his like. Let's see. Oh, Wilder is thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah, Wilder is thirty six. That's really tough. And yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah, he's gonna chill. I chill and too. Then Fury mm -hmm. is. But also thirty three. Fury's younger than him. Yep. Yo, so, what? And then Wilder has been doing the same shit over and over again for the past like ten years. I thought it was the other way. Wow. Nah, man. I'm telling you, like, Wilder is pretty much done. Like, uh, it, unless they get him to fight a subpar opponent, he has no chance of winning. Dude, if he ha if he fights Yusik, forget about it. He, Yusik is gonna knock him down. If it, he uh, fights it, Joshua, it, 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 Joshua uh, is gonna knock him down. I feel like it depends on how much he how much he loved the sport. But you know, at the same time, if he already put in his time, he already got the monies, you know. I mean he was he, good was, age he to was a retire. prime candidate. It's he was a he was a retire. prime candidate to break that uh, 49 and 0 in heavyweight. Hey, yeah, he already he already Right, he, because he, Rocky like Marciano. He orale, well, yeah. But be to be that. honest, with, with the new boxers coming out, with Yusuke coming out, with Joshua being so yo, I want yo, I want to see, I'm gonna see my and my dude Andy fight again. Mm. I need to see that motherfucker fight again. Yo, He's Canelo, gonna bro, Canelo, can yo, Canelo won against did Plant. You, yeah, did you watch the fight? No, no. But yeah, I, 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 I he's, dude, he's like, he's like the undisputed. He's he got like he got like all the belts. Dude, uh, yeah, fuck he's yeah, he's a fucking boss, fuck bro. Yeah. First yeah, of all, and second Canelo, of all, yeah. Canelo, Canelo is a natural talent. And Ruiz fighting with him and training with him, that yeah. would do. Oh, See, bro. Ruiz, that's the thing. With Ruiz, he's more malleable than than Wilder is. Ruiz is more malleable than Wilder is. Mm. And if you look at Canelo, dude, Canelo gave uh, Mayweather big problems. 
Even though Mayweather won it, he won by oh. split decision. Let's not forget that. He won by a split decision. Right. But there were some shots that Canelo landed that I was like, ooh. And then after Yo. that, there was not a single loss. Is there loss. a chance? Did, did Mayweather retire? Is he retired? Most likely. He's fighting for money now. Right. Oh, yeah. Did, did, didn't he fight that kid? Mm hmm And, dude, say what you want about those kids. Um, what was it? Not saying it. Come on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, they're legit. I don't care. <laughs> Why? Because they're legit. It's dumb. <laughs> I, no, I don't think it's dumb. I think it, it's very entertaining. I think that uh, uh, for a somebody that does not understand boxing, that is a very entertaining fight. That is a very entertaining fight to see. Uh, Damn, I'm drawing like, a blank uh, on that. No, I like fights. Logan I, Paul, the I, Paul I like, brothers. I, yeah, I know. The Paul I brothers. Like, I like fights. Um, mm, can I, you don't, I don't like dumb fights. I don't think they're dumb. Because, first of all, Man, you have those you ha fighters ain't fighting for real, bro. Like, you think Mayweather was fighting for real? Like, and, Dude, and Mayweather hasn't just... fought for real since his 49th fight. That's what I'm saying. It just, it just. I'm very. I'm, I'm just. Very not, I'm just unhappy. not. In, I'm just not into them. You know. What, what I, I'm very unhappy that uh, Mayweather took the fiftieth fight with McGregor. Like, to me, that's. Uh, let me. Let me do you that. think? Do you think he? Uh, that he should retire. Who? Mayweather. How, what's that? What's that age difference? He's like pushing fifty. Mayweather's pushing 50? He's definitely into, into the deep oh. 40s. Yeah, Let's see. Mayweather is definitely into the deep 40s. 44. So not deep 40s. Mid 40s. How old is Canelo? Uh, let's see. Canelo is probably like late 30s. So they're not far off. You want to just put this whole thing on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canelo is 31. Shit. Oh, so they're like two years apart? No. You said 31 and 33? Oh, no, you said you're pushing 40. Remember He's 44. Mayweather is 44. Canelo is 31. Oh, oh Thank yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those... But, see... Hold on, real quick. Penful Shiraz, guys. Mm -hmm. Check it out. What do, you, what do you think? You think it's still sitting nicely? We'll, I we'll think jump it's back. delicious. We'll, we'll jump back to Canelo. But let's I talk to them it, about the wine. I think it is delicious. I think that... Um, I mean... Let's not forget this. We're drinking this on a Sunday morning. I don't know if you had breakfast. I had just two waffles. Trader Joe waffles, right? I had a granola bar. Yeah. But shit, it's nice. Even yeah. though, see, that, that's why, like, I was very happy that we have only one bottle because I don't want that shit to happen again <laughs> like last oh time. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Nothing happened. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> let, let, let's be honest. Um, so I decided not to drive because I was <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> and oh, then man. and then I had yeah. to call him to the safe because I couldn't walk the street, down the street and get a bottle of water. Yeah. I was fucked up. I actually sat on the parking lot <laughs> and until I sobered up. I was like, uh, -uh I'm not driving. Oh, we, dude. We, we're keeping it safe over here, all right? Yeah. Mm. Um, keeping shit, keeping shit real. That, that's another thing um, I wanted to actually bring, and we did not talk about this, but uh, Henry Ruggs III, the um, Las Vegas Raiders football player that killed somebody because he was driving drunk and smashed his uh, Corvette into the back of this lady's car, which set on fire, and the lady died inside. Dude, uh, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. dude that was signed for sixteen million dollars a year. Why the fuck would you? Yo, there's Uber, Lyft, cabs, limos. If you want to, why the fuck would you go out and drink and then go behind the wheel of a car? It makes no sense. And yeah, you know, like that—that's the thing that I want people to understand. When we do, like, again, with, with, with those motherfuckers that are cutting and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. With, with that, yo, you do put people with, you do put families at risk. Yeah. And, you know, they cut him. They're like, fuck you. And they cut him. They're like, it was a, I mean, but it's least. irresponsible. And you know what? If you want to drive drunk and you're a millionaire, fucking 
get drunk on a track. If, if you want to race and you have like a $50,000 car, I don't understand those people. You want to race on the street, but you don't want to race on the track. Because you know what? Those people that are driving those fast cars and cutting in and out are the same people that spin out on tracks. Because they don't know how to handle the car. They don't know how to take the turn properly. And they always, always in the track, they always end up in the gravel. Or hitting their car somewhere. Like, why? And you know what? At the end of the day, again, same shit with fighting. Dude, it has real life consequences. My, be it to you, be it to somebody else. Because that dude is going to jail. His NFL career is over. His earning potential is over. For all of that, dude, you know that they're saying that he, he, he was traveling at over 100 miles an hour when he hit that lady? Damn. Oh, I think it was like 120. I think, yeah. He was like, driving at 156. Miles per hour? Yep. Yeah. See, that's stupid. Only seconds before impact. That is stupid. Like, why? Dude, those roads are not this made for that this type of This motherfucker was 22? Yeah. And it, 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 forget that he's 22. His life is over. His yeah. earning potential is over. He's earning? This motherfucker's going to jail, bro. He is. And for, for that one that stupidity, sucks. oh, I want to drive fast while drunk. That sucks. And it's like, dude, I get it. I was a street racer back in the day. But you know what? We never did that bullshit when people were on the road. We actually blocked off the road and then we went racing. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, like That's we cool. used to we used to block off uh, <laughs> Zariga Avenue. Yeah. But when I tell you block it off, meaning like we'll have cars so nobody can pass. Like make it a, a, a make makeshift track. Do, mm. those motherfuckers are not now are racing uh, uh, around people and it's like why? That's dangerous. Cause they watch too many movies and they're fucking stupid. They think that's how you're supposed to do things. Mm. You know, yeah, and then and then you know what's gonna happen? Like, again, I would have gone a different angle hadn't you said that you guys were taking protective measures. Well, well, maybe hey, you fucking idiots, just do that. Do that. What he said, you know, stop hurting people, you dumbasses. Hurt yourselves, dude. We used to block every every <laughs> you know? exit. So we used to block uh, Hudson Point Avenue, <clears throat> Zariga Avenue, and then a few highways like um, the Hutch and then the eighty seven. I think it was, no, was it Avis? No, uh, Sheridan Expressway. We used to, what we used to do is block the entrances, then block the people behind us, right? We would stop the cars, we'll make a line, and then go racing. But there was, for real, like nobody could enter that spot. So if somebody got, if somebody lost control, you, see, that's another thing that I want to talk about. What we didn't do is block oncoming traffic. So on the other side, traffic was still going mm. okay. But which, you know, if you crash at 120 miles an hour, there's a big possibility for you to cross over yeah, and hit yeah, somebody yeah, there. Yeah. But from other than that, like we didn't do it in the in the roads. And fuck, like why would you do that? Like why are you trying to prove a motherfucking point? Who? Who? Like what are you getting? Money? You're not getting money out of that shit. You're not getting what kudos? It's the thrill, man. It's the thrill, the thrill of what? Man. The possibility of killing somebody? Yeah. Dude, imagine if there's somebody. Yo, let, let's be honest. Imagine you fucking kill. Doing this stupid shit, mm -hmm. you kill one of my family members. Yeah. Do the you, fuck out of here, bro. No, no, no. Forget that. I'll be devastated. But do you know what I will do to your family? I'm gonna take out your mama. Your, I'm and gonna yeah. make you more. I'm gonna make you cry more than you make me cry, and then I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the same fucking cell block that you're in, and then I'm gonna torture you <laughs> till the end of times, and to the point where I'm gonna make you wish that you were dead, and then I'm not gonna kill you. Like what the <laughs> fuck? Because they, no, they, they're people, and and, and that that's hey, one thing. That's yeah. one thing that. Um, I love about Jordan Peterson saying, it's like, you have to understand your capacity of evil. And fuck, my capacity of evil is high. Because um, I told you on the last podcast. That's, that's a good line, understand your capacity of evil. I like that. Because, yeah. dude, you, God forbid something happens to, my, to any of my immediate family, 
and then they Very catch you a <laughs> and then they catch you oh i know your family is going to be in court hmm. and you know what not for nothing but trackers are now easy to buy you don't have to go to the special <laughs> spa all right, store all right we gotta change the subject before you fucking uh incriminate yourself <laughs> no, no, no no it's not incriminating because it, it, nothing has happened right yeah. and if something happens we'll definitely delete that podcast <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's like you have to think about and that's what one thing no, I, no that's yeah that's 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 oh that, that like it's like a tie into like subject of like morality and shit because like in this i understand your point of view entirely you know that anger um then then again you have to be the big the big the bigger person right right but (laughs) it's 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 the worst (laughs) it's the worst it's like it's 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 being the bigger person oh my god yeah like that's, that's why that's why i never do it <laughs> forgiving like that lady nah, that, nah, forgive me. Dude, yeah, I forgive I'm, I'm a big forgiver uh, um <laughs> that lady that um i mean the family of that uh black dude that got shot in his own apartment by the cop where she was in the wrong place right in the wrong apartment yo those brianna? people huh brianna taylor yeah no 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 not no not brianna taylor he was a a male and a police officer that just recently had come off duty went into the wrong apartment and she <sighs> killed him you know who i'm talking about yep, right yep. like to be and then the family of that dude um you can put the the name of the mm-hmm. dude over here they forgave her and i was like holy shit like it would take me a, a lot to do that it would i i maybe i won't be able to no it's like what's what, what it, 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 it's because that's a that's a certain that's such a that's such a circumstance you know how could you be mad at somebody for doing what they were they thought their life was being threatened you know uh well then, like, then not, isn't, not, that, isn't, isn't that a, a nice segue to written house back to circle back to written house where what no nah, no nah, this motherfucker didn't think he was in the wrong house this motherfucker went to somebody's house with weapons and was shocked that he got attacked <laughs> We that's read not, the that's news. not the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, what? I came here to protect you from uh, the fuck out I of here. I think the Albanians did it very right, man. So they just took out to bats. somebody's neighborhood and pre- tried to play a hero and ended up killing somebody. Fucking two idiot. people. <laughs> two yeah, people. Two, two people. But, that, yeah. But you know what? Like, the here. Albanians in the Bronx did it right. Yo. They just took out baseball bats. They were like, yo, come right. We'll break your legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... I can respect that. Oh, yeah, mm. so, like that goes to, that goes to show like it's about, about the neighborhood taking care of itself, and like that's that's the thing. We're like we're such social beings. We're like such we're we need community. You oh, know, yeah. like we we need we need each other. Um, and uh, not to be too hippie here, but like, come on, man, we need, we we fucking need each other. It, that's that, that's just what it is. Um, everybody wants to. We, we want to be the uh, the hero of our own story, but it's like it's not a, a one person storyline. You know, it's us. It's us. Yeah. It's us. It's all of us. You know, let's try to do the best to minimize harm and the best to um, create joy. You know? Look, if you want to act a fool, and like that, that's another thing that I have um, with that my same that same acquaintance mm. um, that kind of don't like anymore i actually stopped communicating with him because of the dumb shit that he was saying <laughs> but uh I spat on my mic <laughs> dude yeah. you spit on your mic i ash on myself <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> but so i, I, I was sexy. complaining i was complaining about that same thing um about the red the people running red lights oh yeah in yeah, my yeah, neighborhood yeah. and it was like whoa motorcycles always do that like it doesn't make it right (laughs) like the fact that a bunch of fucking assholes are doing it doesn't make it right same thing with people that ride their motorcycles without a license plate or they put tape on their license plate like (laughs) dude like why and then it, it was very funny because um i uh i said something to one of those videos i was like oh so they ride around like that but they get all pissed off when i give them a laptop love tap with my car so basically this is what i kind of started doing if let's say some of those motorcyclists will come in front of me and stop on the red light but i have no license plate i'll get really close and i would like my car would just lightly tap their rear wheel 
like slightly <laughs> tapped like to the point it's i'm on neutral yeah. right and i will just less than a mile an hour but they feel it and they get all pissed off and i'm like but why you you're riding around with no license plate <laughs> like I'm sorry. What you gonna you gonna do insurance claim for what, motherfucker? <laughs> what, where is it? Like, what's your right oh, on being man. on the road? And you know what the funny part is that I getting I started this getting guy. that <laughs> I started getting like that when I got older. But also when I had my bike, I was never illegal. I was never like fleeing the, the scene of an accident because i got you're the man bro because yeah. i got rear-ended man by a fucking cab in 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 queens uh, i don't know if i told you the story but i was chilling on the red light and then all of a sudden i hear like the, oh. the brakes screeching brakes and then i flew out of my bike what yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was this cab with a lincoln <laughs> yo he fucked shit up i mean he fucked this guy way more than he fucked my bike he probably hit me at like 20 miles an hour what while i was standing but dude were, I you, was like, were you wearing that suit thing oh yeah oh dude dang. i was always suited up i yeah, was always bro. suited up. remember that shit but holy shit man i was like he came out and he's like yeah, <laughs> yeah that what? shit was cool you used to you used to come to the liquor store with your fucking suit you know you got pictures of yourself with the suit ah uh, you bro. know that, that that's one thing that um that shit was cool <laughs> it's like his motherfucker coming in with his helmet <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, dude, it was the best thing ever, man. But it, it, sick. It, it, you know why I stopped? I took one many shots to the balls, and I was like, "Fuck that!" Shots so, to the balls. Yeah. That's so amazing. when you ride on a motorcycle, every single bump, it just jolts, <laughs> just jolts the seat oh, up man. into your nuts, right? Man. And um, there was one time that I did not see the the bump. And because you're supposed to like lift yourself a little bit and use your your legs as a spring, right? Mm. As a shock. And one time during nighttime, I was teaching this motherfucker lesson. So it it, it it was like the best of the best and the worst of the worst. I was riding, I was joy riding through Manhattan, and there's this dude with an R6, which was way more powerful than my bike, mm. way faster than my bike. And we're like playing around, and then I took him on this curvy road. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm leaning, I'm doing my shit. And he's in my back rear view mirror and it's like, whatever. He gave up. And as I'm enjoying the win, I did not see this bump. So I'm sitting fully on the bike and this bump comes in and just boom, right into the balls. Like, like, damn, dude, it was if, if a girl just kicked you in the balls, I was screaming in my helmet of pain for like two minutes afterwards until i found a spot <laughs> that i can pull over safely and f just walk it off oh, because man. and that was the time i was like you know what i think this is done <laughs> i think this is done and damn yeah like <laughs> fuck that man now i wonder how it feels on a cruiser because like, same it feels the same oh, like do okay, i i have to pay attention to that dude on i wonder what the best roads are because, for a motorcycle yeah the track that's oh the best bro no i mean you you know what i'm saying because like i always wanted i always wanted to get a, a cruiser um i used to say harleys all the time but that's because you know i didn't know that they every a couple of different people make cruisers mm -hmm. and apparently <laughs> i was watching this video when somebody made about like how um honda honda cruises tend to last longer than the harleys i'm like damn guys oh yeah different engines it's like it was like you know but also a different bike and like i, I like that aesthetic you know that fucking they're fun you dude know what like I'm saying? but like, fucking new york roads suck bro yeah even when they fix them they suck so you know? so i actually know people that have broken hands because of new york roads bro they, they, um, they used bikes? to be for bikes so they Shit. used to be dude they used to be this um beer garden called studio square in queens and it was like on a side road you know perfect this dude i used to it was just a bunch of us like not a gang like not a biker gang but we just like to ride mm -hmm. so we go there and we're like yeah you know after a nice cruise we went up to bear mountain we came down and went there for a beer and He's legitimately doing this, riding. He's going to oh, look for parking. I thought you were, were going to show something. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah. 
I'm going to show. He's riding. He had a crotch rocket. Mm -hmm. He's riding. He looks away. He throws the deuces. And then as he looks back, he goes into a pothole. Big enough. His bike flipped. Dude, this hand was broken here, here, and the shoulder was broken. Left hand, all his fingers were broken from hitting a pothole. And I was like, oh, shit. All right, cars oh, are better. <laughs> Immensely. You know, and like, that's why that's what I like cruisers, because if I was, I feel like well, he wasn't riding a cruiser. I'm assuming he was riding one of those. Yeah, Crutch Rocket, yeah. Crutch Rocket, those, like the yeah, sports yeah, bike. Yeah. yeah, see, like, nah. Because for those, I feel like you're, on, you know. Those, you're those on are machine. only for the track. Yeah. I have to be honest. Like, right. I, if I you want to be cool. I want to go. Like, not, I don't, cause I'm not trying to speed. I'm still trying to do the speed limit, but I just want to be on a bike. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to. I just, I just want to chill on a bike on the road. But what do you like? Do you like just chilling on the bike on a straight line? Do you like taking turns? I, 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 I like the road. Like, I, I like the highways. You know, I just like going. I don't want to go in a circle on a bike, but at the same, but I'm, but I don't want to like, you know, I, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. do none of that shit. I just want to fucking chill at like fucking 40, 50 miles an hour, the, obviously depending on the road. Mm -hmm. but I, I'm not trying to go like past fucking 70, you know, on a freaking bike. Mm. That's what. That, See, that's, that's the thing. The second you get on a bike, you're you like, that fucking grid, this fucking psycho over here. No, no, no. I'm I, telling you, even on the cruiser, you'd be like, you been on a bike on a cruiser doing 50 and then you'll be like i'm not I'm, i wonder if you can I'm take not it to that guy anymore you know like that means like, yeah, you know that guy i'm not that guy no I'm no just, no like, trust so me I you become that guy when you're on a more this but it's all in the way you're sitting though because like, if i'm sitting like this dude i'm telling you even on the like cruiser this, even on the cruiser like. even on the cruiser that wind in your fucking face in that wind that gets everywhere you'll be Amazed what he can do at 120 miles an hour. How much better it feels than 50? Oh, or, it, it just or, it just feels better. Maybe, but, maybe I'm just not trying to die. You know, I don't want to have but, broken hands. What like, people don't tell you, what people don't tell you is that I call them the three golden rules of motorcycles on road. Oh, first one is dust, dude. Once you hit dust on that bike and you start sliding, you'll be scared. The second one is bugs. Nobody talks oh. about bugs, but when a bug hits you at 70 miles an hour in your face, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it hurts very, very bad. No, no, no. It's not even uh. It's like, it's like somebody shooting a pebble at you and it's hitting your cheeks. And it, like you have to have the full helmet. Yeah. But even on your legs, it hurts. Like you'll be riding in oh, shorts. Really? Yeah, yeah, you'll be riding in shorts oh, and it hurts. Shorts? The third one, though, that nobody talks about. Yeah is if you're riding with just a short sleeve, right? Um, if you're riding with short sleeve, you'll get burned to crisp. You'll oh. get burned because- It's sitting outside, right? Well, not only that, the sun is beaming down on you. Oh, on top of that, the wind. the wind dries out your skin. So you may, I don't know if you, I, I think I have a picture where once I rode from here, from Yonkers to Connecticut and back in one, like in four hours. And dude, I was burned from here to here <laughs> to crit, like I was red. So, cause I had the gloves, yeah. right? So my hands were white. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just see I, I have to find that picture yeah Yo, please do it, yeah. It, it, it was like uh, it was bad Damn. it was bad i have to i really have to find that picture You'll find it's that like, picture bro like i i was like holy <laughs> shit Damn. yeah i hope that facebook has that shit i mean we're gonna yeah. have to end it in a second and yeah. uh but yeah oh another thing i went to see hamilton the play oh shit yeah hamilton dude go see it worth every fucking penny and um it's why, why did great. you go see hamilton uh I, I went to see it last month at the end of the month and um holy shit it's it's a great play uh, hamilton was an amazing person uh, not only that i actually read his biography as well so i can tell you he was very conscientious and he was very moral actually extremely moral the reason why his son died 
is because he advised his son to shoot his shot in the air. And uh, when Hamilton got killed, right? Spoiler by, alert. By, uh, no, no, no. I mean, everybody knows Hamilton gets killed. <laughs> you can go visit his grave for crying uh -huh. out loud. Uh, I also recommend that. Go to New York City Trinity Church. Uh, his grave is his son's grave and then his own grave are in the same like then right next to each other uh very powerful especially if you know his history a lot of emotions um i'm about to start reading the federalist papers that he wrote because he was a a staunch support support of the constitution and he wrote a lot and that's very very good like he he left ideas out there that are still not being explored and i think we should explore them i think that uh i don't know if you know but hamilton won the toss of his duel uh between him and his uh i think he was one of his friends mm -hmm. uh, actually it was one of his friends and um he chose to look towards the sun and he advised the same thing to his son to to be a gentleman during the duel and you know shoot his shot in the air and if he basically said if the other guy is as good as you are he would sh do the same or not shoot at all um it's a tragedy and you know very glad that his wife um took everything together and put everything together all his writings and all that stuff and told his story because that should really be a person that we should inspire to the the to, to the, the, yeah. the amount of integrity he had was i i don't think it's been ever surpassed by any other politician since All then. right, cool and you know the tickets right now oh, are man. fairly affordable the tickets we got tickets uh for 180 dollars and we were the first row of the top mezzanine so uh -huh. you have a great view in the theater Total 180 or per person 180? Huh? Total 180 no, or per, per person. person 180? Per person 180. Um, but you can also play the Broadway uh, lottery. Mm -hmm. It happens daily. Oh, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens daily. <laughs> and you know what? Like, if you get tickets That's through cool. that, it's like 10 bucks a ticket. It's totally worth seeing because. I'll do the lottery. Uh, also, very diverse. That's what I like about, uh, about the place. Like a Mexican? So, no. Fucking I know, man. It was shit. like when, when they say diversity in the United States, it's mostly like black people. <laughs> like, and it's like, well, that's not diverse because oh, that's no, thing. bro. That's so much more. It's like Dude, you gotta have this. We gotta have everyone. You know, we gotta. I everybody needs to be included. Everybody wait, wait, comes they to the do party. Have uh, Hispanics people, but I don't think they have Mexicans. That's right. That's fucked up. We, 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 which is which? Is, yeah, which is a little fucked up because. You know, the, I don't give the songs a shit, are great. Man. Huh? The songs are great. Uh, I actually would recommend you listening to because it's it is on Spotify and major um, music outlets out there. The songs, um, hear them first because one thing that I have to say about that I did not enjoy much was a lot of times when they sing, you cannot hear them oh. or you cannot understand them. So when they, they're Maybe recording they were the technical problems. No, 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 it was just, it, it, it was just the fact that two or three people be rapping on top of each other and, um, the rapping. Yeah. Oh, it's all rap. Like the, the musical is rap based. Oh, for real? Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> is it like a rap opera? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh it's shit! Dope. This shit it, just it, got it, so much more interesting. Are you yeah, serious? It is. It, it's oh, so it's amazing. not like a play. Play. It's, oh no, 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 shit! It's a musical. It's not a play. It's a yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. To me, I'm sorry. It's, I don't. I don't know the difference. It's, it's too hard. Um. Oh, so it's a fucking like a dope shit. Oh, sick. Really All good. right. Cool. Really good. Cool, cool. And um, if you I can go see just it, like, I thought it was just like Hamilton. You know, like a play, like a, no, they a have musical. Lafayette in there. You know, they like have fucking high Madison. school musical. They're just singing and doing, no, 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 no. Doing. It's rap. It's actually very good rap. And um, oh, one of the guys that I went to see, I went to see. He played Lafayette. He also played Aladdin in the Broadway musical Aladdin. And mm. I, that's sick. I, I, amazing to to see this dude's story in three hours is 
something that it should be done mm-hmm. um, to understand the way how how righteous he was. It, not only righteous, he was moral. Like his morality was like, I'm gonna do my best to change this world for the better. And um, one thing that I didn't know before the musical was that I think Madison wrote like nine, no, Madison wrote like 20 Federalist Papers. So it was Hamilton, Madison, and I forgot who was the third person that wrote Federalist Papers, but um, Hamilton wrote 50 of them. Mm. He was the most productive one of all of them. And that dude fucking, when it comes to to hierarchy, Mm -hmm. especially hierarchy in society, he had a very good grasp of what needs, what you need to climb to the hierarchy and what is needed to be done after you reach the top spot. And mm-hmm. it was like- Had a plan. Not only a plan, like, I mean, honestly, like back in the day, right now hierarchies are kind of scrambled a little bit because especially when you look at corporate worlds, uh, hierarchies are very weird, but just go see it. I yeah. I, I have cool. nothing else but good things to say about that 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 musical and fuck it did live up to the hype. Go see Hamilton. Go see I'll, Hamilton. I'll go see Hamilton. And yeah. Sunday mornings we're gonna be releasing shit. Um, Sunday mornings. To today, November seventh, we're gonna be releasing In two episode weeks. thirteen. No, no. Oh, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thirteen. Episode. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us once again. Once um, again, guys. Once again. Try the Shiraz. We know that we did not Pen taste folks. the Yellowtail, but that's going to be on the next one, guaranteed. <sighs> guaranteed. If somebody does not forget to it. buy it, <laughs> I got, I got it, I got it. He got it. Saturdays and uh, days are confusing. They're uh, whatever, man. <laughs> Listen, New York laws, New York laws kind of suck because on Sunday you cannot sell alcohol until twelve o'clock, and we usually do this podcast uh, and this talk actually. And oh, maybe that's what we should call it. We should not call it podcast anymore. It's talks because that's that's what we do. Liquor store blues podcast. Liquor store blues talks. Fuck it. We'll ah, figure it out. We'll figure it out. Cheers. Cheers. And on that note. Enjoy your week. Thank you for joining us once again. We'll be seeing you very soon. Peace. Ladies.